Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little dreamers card. I'm using that little elephant. Isn't she sweet? Uh, I'm calling it a she because we put a little, little star in her, her, her ear. Um, this bundle is fabulous. I've got five samples over on my blog. If you're looking for ideas, make sure you hop over there. Um, most of the time when I have images like this, I use my Stampin' Blends, but uh, for this one, we're gonna use our water painter and some regular ink. And, uh, you know, you can see in the background too, I use this die right here. Um, the die set's really cool. Of course, it's got the images, it's got some uh, extra things, but it has this little, little plate here where you can cut out these stars. So we will do that as well. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is our stamping and our watercoloring so that it has time to dry. I've got a piece of watercolor paper here in my embossing buddy. I'm gonna rub it with the embossing buddy to remove any kind of static that's on there. The embossing buddy comes in the accessory kit along with this tray um, and a couple other tools. Let's see, I actually have them right here, which we will need. We've got the paint brush, which is to uh, brush off any extra little uh, granules that stick in places you don't want them, and the reversible tweezers. Okay, so we're gonna stamp her in Versamark. And when I stamp her, you're not gonna be able to see her. Um, this is clean, clear ink. Um, it's a really sticky ink, um, which will hold on to our embossing powder. And then I'm gonna use white embossing powder. So you're not really gonna be able to see that either. Um, Believe me, it, it's there. Hopefully, maybe you can see that. And I can see too that I've got some little pieces right there that I don't want to stay. So use your paintbrush to get those out because they will dry there. And what we're doing is emboss resist basically. Um, the image here is going to resist the ink and stay white where we put ink. So any of those dots in the wrong place will look kind of weird. All right, take your heat tool and heat it up until it's shiny. And I'm gonna actually take my reverse tweezers so I don't burn my fingers. When you have a little piece like that, those tweezers come in really handy because these tools get hot. All right, so you'll see, you'll, you'll know when it has changed. It changes color, it changes texture, it's a little bit white. Uh, a little bit shiny, I mean. Hopefully you can see that. And you wanna make sure that you got all of the places. I think I did. Okay, now I'm gonna use my water painter and gray granite. I like gray uh, for this. Um, it's, a, it's a brown gray, which I like, a little bit different than just your regular gray. So I'm gonna take some water. I've squeezed the ink into my lid and I'm just gonna start adding color here and you'll see right here see how i went over that line and it the line stays there um, it resists the ink so that's why i chose white so that it would kind of stay true to the paper and you want to use enough water so that your color will spread and we'll go back and add some shading in here if you don't like to put your ink on your inside your lid like this, some people don't like that because it's a little bit messy, um, take one of your clear acrylic blocks, your Stampin' Blocks, and stamp it down onto the ink and use it kind of like a paint palette. That works just as well, and then you could just wipe it off or you know clean it in the sink if you want. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and add a little bit of dark kind of down here. And I want that to kind of spread out. So I make sure I've got some water here to spread that up and out. She would be darker down at the bottom and the legs in the back would be darker. And then I want to add some more here. I like that. All right, and then maybe we'll add some around here like this. All right, she's so cute. All right, I think, let's see, I think that looks pretty good. If you add more water, it'll really blend those together. Drag those colors up like that. All right, so then I just take my paper towel and just wipe it out. 
Okay, so we'll set that aside to dry and we'll do some of the other things that we're gonna do for this card, including cutting that star piece. Um, I have cut out two pieces. This is our new bubble bath um, with our, and I'm gonna forget the name, so check my blog, but it's a piece of shimmer paper. Um, I've cut them out with the deckled edge dies and they're the same size so that then I can adhere them together and you'll be able to see those stars through this piece. Um, I have ahead of time cut out a little scalloped um, frame for us to stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna stamp this in Knight of Navy right in the middle. Um, normally when I am stamping something like this, I would stamp it on the paper and then use the die to cut it so that I get it straight. But for the sake of the video, I just cut that out ahead of time. Okay, so we will bring over our cut and emboss machine and we're gonna get that die and we're gonna run it through several times. Now it's gonna cut out some teeny tiny stars and I'm gonna try to kind of brush those all into a pile because we're gonna use those as embellishments. All right, so we'll run this through like this and see those right there. You can get, um, let's just get a piece of paper and we're just gonna kind of scrape those over there onto the side each time that we run through here so that we have them to use. Now there's a little gold star stuck in there <laughs> because I use this die for another project that you can see on my blog the day before this project. And it looks like one of the little gold stars was actually still stuck in the die. Um, if the stars are stuck in the die, you can use your die, your uh, brush attachment that goes to your take your pick tool and do that. But um, I kind of do things the lazy way and I like to drop it and, <laughs> and, and they pop out. Not every time, but sometimes I'm just lazy and I don't want to either find my die brush or walk across the room to get it wherever it is. And it's just easier to drop it. All right, one more pass. See how they just all jump up? One more pass and we'll have them all cut out. All right, clear plate goes on top. And There we go, we'll brush all of those and get those out. If you don't have the die brush for your take your pick tool, you should add it to your next order. It comes also with a foam piece like this so that you can, you know, if you've got even a piece of paper like this, you can roll it and those uh, stubborn little doodads will come out and you can do it on your die like that as well. All right, you know, uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and cut out our elephant. She may not be completely dry, but I think she'll be dry enough to cut out. Um, the embossed ink also serves kind of as a little barrier for our ink. Um, it kind of holds it in place, unless you use a ton of water, but um, for the most part, it holds the ink in place and it won't run out beyond those lines of the image. All right, now let's take this piece and if you have any little stubborn guys left, just take your scissors or your piercing end of your take your pick tool or your reverse tweezers, whatever's close and poke those out. Now I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm just gonna use just little dots. I'm not really even going to squeeze. Um, this is the glue that just naturally comes out. You don't want too much glue so that it squeezes through your little star holes that you made. All right, put that down right there like that. All right, so there's our little background piece. Um, I am using some Knight of Navy. Uh, cardstock for the card base. And I have just a piece of basic white to put on the inside. When I was a new stamper and I made cards with dark card bases, 
I thought I had to have a like a white pen to write inside of it. It took me a while <laughs> to figure out that all you have to do is put a piece of white paper inside and then you can use your regular pen. I'm slow sometimes. All right, this is our, and I can't think of it, you guys, I have been moving the last three weeks and my brain just hasn't caught up yet and I can't remember the names of things. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube. I have a PDF that will have the supply list and the measurements for this card and two others over on my blog. I literally can't even think of the name of this paper. I know some of you are probably yelling at me on the other side of your screen because you know it, but I can't remember it. All right, so this is just a strip of Calypso coral like that. And then we'll take our little glimmer star, pink glimmer star piece. And we're gonna put dimensionals on the background. And we'll overlap like that. It looks like I got some kind of smeared something there. So we're gonna try to hide that. All right. Now, one thing I didn't like about this was that her eye kind of just, I don't know, I need, it needs to be black in my mind. So I got my Stampin' Right marker, basic black, and I'm just going to color in her eye. Doesn't that make a huge difference? I don't know, I thought it did. So get your, your, your Stampin' Right marker and add just a tiny dot. Now, for these stars, you're gonna wanna get your Take Your Pick tool because it's gonna help you and get one of the larger stars and put right there. Oh, she's so cute. All right, and we're gonna put her right here. Like that. And then we'll do the same thing with our sentiment. Little baby big love let's move her up just a tad right there okay so now i'm gonna add stars here and you know this is kind of like a free embellishment we were just gonna throw those stars away but don't they are cute they look like something you would buy to attach to your card um there's different shapes i mean i'm sorry different sizes so play around with the sizes and see which ones you like. I like the bigger ones. The small ones are just a little bit too small for me to try to do anything with. All right, and then, you know what? Let's add just a couple in here to carry over that design. We can just kind of sprinkle some in here. That'll take up some room so you don't have to write such a large message either. <laughs> if you're like me, I can never think of what to write in a card. I know, why is it so hard? I write big inside a card, so I don't have to write too much. All right, and one more. And if you're really a good friend, you could save these and put them in the envelope in the card so that when she opens it, they go all over the place. Friends love when you do that. <laughs> all right, you guys, there you go. A really cute, all right, there you go. A really fun, cute watercolor elephant baby card to use. Um, and uh, make sure you check out my blog. It's got the details on this wonderful bundle as well as two other Little Dreamers projects. Thanks everybody. Have fun stamping. Bye-bye.